Welcome to yet again another experience. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the experience. Now, these are just my thoughts, you know, based on, you know, what, you know, I've um, been privy to uh, come across. Well, I can say I'm privy. <laughs> you know, um, maybe it's just, you know, based off of, um, you know, how I was learned, um, you know, I can basically, uh, you know, easily spot the mark or spot the lie or spot the gimmick or the deception, you know, deceptions are far worse than lies. But anyways, based on what I see, you know, um, from the, uh, I guess, the representation, um, you know, that's out there, it, you know, looks essentially lost, you know, you know they, they come across to me as, uh, you know, desperate, you know, either introverts or incels or both, you know, just grabbing at something that uh, they uh, somewhat can't either get a hold onto or just, you know, grasp. You know, energetically. It's like they'll just use, you know, that title or anything, you know, seemingly noble to, uh, you know, distinguish themselves from those around them, you know, mainly with whom they feel, you know, unworthy, you know, to identify with, you know, due to uh, little or no self esteem. You know, either way, they're, um, they're uh, distorted in their need to find, you know, a label that sets them apart from others, you know, in their minds. And um, because of that, you know, it just makes them average at best. You know, what I mean average is just struggling, you know, not only in, in their mind, you know, in their uh, emotions and their spirit, um, with their lives and even their social paradigm and, you know, so forth. You know, it's something that, you know, children, you know, do, like uh, being unable to find exactly where the sides of the corridors are, you know. They have this, uh, you know, compulsion to, you know, inform the world of their, uh, you know, magical powers, you know, mainly due to some sort of uh, twisted self-entitlement issues, you know, you know, a grandiose uh, a placement of ideas. You know, there's nothing wrong with ideas, but there actually has to have some, you know, sound, you know, um, evidence behind it. There always has to be something that, you know, is, you know, um, weighing it out properly. Like, uh, G I was about to say Jesus, right? <laughs> But, you know, that's another good example of leadership. But like uh, John C. Maxwell, you know, once said, you know, if no one's following you, then you're just uh, taking a walk. You know, some actually believe that they can uh, feel and, um, and experience where another person's emotions and thoughts are going or have been, you know, therefore they... Um, you know, they qualify themselves to provide, you know, advice on, you know, on certain, you know, subject matters. But, you know, my thing is, you know, before you give, you know, anyone, you know, advice, make sure that, you know, your room is clean first. Before you can give advice, you know, on how to clean someone's house, your room should be clean first. Before you remove, you know, the uh, speck from, you know, their eye, you have to remove the beam from yours. Meaning, so if it's, uh, you know, filth in your space, then that's just a reflection of the filth in your spirit of mind. You know, this is what causes many to be, you know, unable to differentiate between their own experiences and emotions and others. You know, this would leave them to be scattered and all over the place. 
you know, under the guise of being, uh, I guess, uh, stoked. Under the guise of being, you know, uh, stable, which is, um, you know, in order to be well put together, again, you have to be stable first. You know, those two are synonymous to each other. You know, words are, you know, powerful. And they're even more powerful when you understand what, you know, words mean. But, you know, again, these are just my thoughts. You know, who's to say if I'm right or wrong, right? <laughs>